weird, huh? Yeah. How quickly the rug just gets pulled out from underneath you? What rug? Any rug, the proverbial rug. It's like one minute you're sitting doing the morning crossword, next thing you know you're, well, here. Yeah. Here you go, hot and black, right? Perfect. Wish I could drink it like that. I mean, I like my cream and sugar, don't get me wrong, but I like my thighs too, especially when they're not rubbing up against each other. <laughs> Thanks. My dog is gonna strangle me. She's just gonna wrap her little paws around my neck and wring it. You have a dog? The neighbor said she'd keep an eye on her, but she's Puerto Rican. <laughs> the dog, not the... <laughs> well, my neighbor's Puerto Rican, too. Chihuahua, that's Puerto Rican, isn't it, or is it Mexican? Um, not sure. Anyway. <laughs> it's something Latin. You know, she's got that temperament. It's like, I've had her a week, and already it's like, we're in prison and I'm her bitch. You know, can't stand it. When anyone comes near me, she gets all snarly and yappy. It's made us real popular at the dog park, let me tell you. <laughs> She's a pain in my butt, she is, but I love her. I do like a biscuit sandwich. Butch's dad thinks I've become one of those crazy dog people. He threatened to call my shrink when he found out how much I've been spending on chewy toys. Uh, how's he doing? Who? Uh, Mr. Um, Honeycut. Honeycut. You can call him Butch. Oh, he's fine. Off spraying his spray somewhere, I bet. Makes him feel better. I only know Luke by his stage name. Oh, the stage name, right. I wouldn't bring that up around Butch if I were you. It's kind of a sore subject. Oh, I think it was a union thing if that makes him feel any better. Not really. <laughs> now, Brandon, why do you look so familiar? Uh, Luke's Our Town opening. <sighs> That's right. Boy, my mind's going. It really is. At the sushi restaurant. You know, it's not so much my long-term memory, that's good. My short-term's fine, too, it's just everything in between that that's a little fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, was I flapping my gums all night, holding court? You seem to be enjoying yourself. Of course I was. You know what you have to do, Brandy. You have to stuff a nori roll in my mouth, otherwise I'll go on for days. I remember your turban being quite the topic of conversation. Oh, no, with the nuts. There were a lot of squirrel jokes. My friend Spike makes those. You know, he uses raisins, too, wheat checks, M&Ms, anything you find in the bag of trail mix, Spike uses it. He calls it outsider art, because that's where it ought to be hung. You know, outside, where no one has to look at it. <laughs> anyway, I don't talk to him anymore. I mean, what was I thinking? I wore a do-rag my last years of high school. A do-what? Rag and hold your jerry curl in place. <laughs> Shut up. It's true, I got the prom pictures to prove it. Good God, woman. Mm. Also wore a snood, too, one of those big yarn ones. <laughs> what the heck's a snood? It's like a sweater for your hair. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> How about you, Brandon? Any skeletons hanging in your closet? Uh, I don't know. Ties, I guess? I only wore red, white, and blue ones every day when I worked in D.C. D.C.? Now, is that how you and Luke know each other? He was the one to convince me to move up here. Well, that's Luke now, isn't it? Like Tom Sawyer with a can of whitewash. His daddy's the same way. Uh, Brandon works for a big property developer. He's making more money than any of us. Stop it. It's hard to believe, but it's been a pretty good few years, so... How about you guys? How do you kids know each other? Oh, uh, we don't really. We met, like, what, once or twice, right, Brandon? Yeah, through Luke, yeah. Yeah, Luke works at my shop. Oh, the candle store, that's yours? Yeah, well, candles and cards and tchotchkes and things were expanding. Tchotchkes? Tchotchkes? Is that, like, bagels, something Jewish? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, it's basically all the crap that clutters up your apartment at knickknacks, I guess. Now you're speaking my language. My condo is like a tchotchke warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> tchotchke? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> From Capitol Hill to candles, no wonder Luke's daddy's got high blood pressure. Well, actually, candles are really in right now. Oh, no, hun, I'm just teasing, I know. I love candles. You know, Luke buys me a different flavor for every holiday. Just the other day, I got my pumpkin spice. That's my bestseller. <laughs> Sounds like someone's having a good time. <laughs> and so, uh, Luke likes it up here? He's having a nice life in New York. He loves it. I keep waiting to see his face on TV again. There was that commercial he did a while back. What was it? Like computers or cell phones? DSL. See, now I have no idea what the heck that is either. <laughs> you must think I'm some kind of hillbilly down there in the booties twinking my banjo somewhere, huh? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what it is either, and I have it. <laughs> No, I really enjoyed that musical he was in a while back. Who knew Luke could sing? Like an angel, but my favorite still branding was that R Town. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was terrific in that. You know, he was just so believable. Especially when that girl died. 
Yeah, the acting thing's been going really well for him. He still has all that time to sell candles. <laughs> Idiots. What now, Butch? Taxi drivers uninsured. Oh, for Pete's sake. And uh, no green card, either. Would you leave the poor man alone? He's traumatized enough as it I mean, is. Who lets these jackasses across the border? That's what I want to know. He didn't just go through the red light. He drove right up onto the sidewalk. It was an accident. He's going to get me started on that ambulance driver. Have you called Lynn yet? No, I can't deal with Lynn right now. Neither can I, and I'm the one she keeps speed dialing. I told you not to give her your damn cell phone number. Luke's stepmom. Oh, I thought you were his stepmom. Oh, no, honey. Lynn did a lot of the rearing, but uh, I'm the real deal. <laughs> Poor thing. She just got a facelift and a tummy tuck. She's been calling every half hour in a complete Vicodin haze. <laughs> I can't understand a word she's saying, bless her heart. <laughs> But I uh, can't feel too bad for her. She does have the housekeeper and the personal trainer five times a week. You could have had that too if you behaved yourself. What about Ben? Have you called <laughs> Ben yet? No, my phone's not getting any service. Well, here. You have well, yours? Try mine. Thank you. Ah, Luke's brother, sophomore at Georgia Tech. An engineering major. It's a pleasing opportunity today. Nuclear engineering, a 3.9 last semester. Sweet kid. He's going to work for NASA someday. Ben, it's your dad again, son. Call me as soon as you get this. It's important. That uh, anesthesiologist seems nice, Holly, and cute, too. Are you single? Um, I'll introduce you two later on, after Luke wakes up. I'm so glad they brought him to a Jewish hospital. Arlene? Well, I'm just saying they make great doctors. Accountants, too. <laughs> <laughs> You clip those curly cute things off the side of his head, Holly, you look just like George Clooney. Well, I don't know. 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 Hi. Uh, Brandon was the first one to get here. Oh, I only live a couple blocks away. So. You moved? Two months ago, yeah. And this is Luke's dad. Well, stand up, which have some manners. Well, we've met. <laughs> we have? Uh, why don't you come have a seat, sweetie? Where is he? He just got out of surgery. He was in there for like five hours. Can I see him? They wanted to hold off a little bit. Can't I just stick my head in? He's still in the phone, now, sweetie. Adam was just at his high school reunion. He's probably feeling like we did when we all first got here. It's a little overwhelming, isn't it, sweetie? He's going to be okay, though, right? Of course he is. I mean, that's what they're saying, isn't it? Well, now, Butch, you were the last one to speak to the surgeon. What do you have to say? He said my boy's got a fight in him. Well, he sure does. We were just talking about that, Brandon, weren't we? Pluck. That's what we called it growing up. Pluck? Yes, pluck, Butch. That's what we called it. Luke's got a ton of it. <laughs> what else do you say? He's gonna need it. 